So now we're going to cut in the little ears for the mouse. And for this I use two specialized tools. To cut in the ears I use this curved chisel which has a very slight curve. And to hold the mouse in place I use this hardy tool with a little uh, hole in it which the nose of the mouse fits in. And the hole is almost level with the it should be level with the anvil face but this this one's just a little bit too short but it doesn't matter because if you lift it up and put the nose in it will stay there and hold it The holder for the mouse uh, might have made a little dent in his nose, so I'll hammer it out with a very small hammer. So now we're going to give him a couple of little eyes, and uh, the easiest way to do this is to hold him in the vise with a little detailing plate, I guess, behind him. And for this I'll use a very small eye punch. So now I'm going to bend this tail in shape and the first thing I'm going to do is forge the little hook to catch the edge of the bolka. So this is about what a finished mouse should look like. You should not forge the tail too thin or it will bend when you try to open a bottle. And you want to make sure that the end of the hook is very thin so it will be able to slide underneath the edge of the bottle cap. Because if you forge this too thick it will not fit underneath the bottle cap. Here you can see if you make the end of the hook too thick it will not fit under the bottle cap. What I did was just take a file or the belt sander and just knock off a little bit of the end of the hook so it's flat. But these are pretty difficult to forge and make, uh, so don't be discouraged if it doesn't work out the first time. Uh, keep on practicing. Uh, I've probably made more than 30 of these, so I'm quite experienced. Anyway, that's it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a like if you liked it, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.